Hello everybody, Trekkie here with another episode of Trekkie Plays Minecraft. Episode 24. Today we are going to work more on our big tree town center slash park slash humanitarian center slash green slash brown, you know, slash everything. And between episodes I've been working on it a little bit. And by I mean a little bit, I mean as I want to build it in the episode, there's really not much I could do with it, but I have been finishing up a little odds and ends. I added some roots. I will be first to admit I am not the best one making roots, but I did make them kind of twist out in a little bit, everything. It's not a big a, a tree as Doc's uh, ironwood tree, so I can't really add giant spectacular <laughs> roots, but they all have to do. They all have to do. They give the impression that the tree comes out at the bottom, so that works. And of course, I've made all these pathways. Quite simple, just just run right up it. You got your stations or places where you could look out upon the city. There's not going to be <laughs> nature so much as there is going to be city. And I kind of like the combination of these. Uh, Twilight oak logs, as well as the light birch plank uh, slabs. You need to have something on the side here, probably some supports or something of that nature. But we will worry about that as the time comes. First, I want to work on the basic layout of the area. Then we can worry about decorating it up. So let's get our fly on. As you can see, I've kind of added this circular. If you look on the mini map, it's kind of like a circular outline as well as a outline with stone bricks. So the stone bricks are basically the three blocks between the bottom of these plat these uh, stairwells and these things will be the path around the middle bit. So it'll be a path that people walk on. <clears throat> Excuse me, god damn. Whew. Choking my own spit. <laughs> Anyways, I was saying, these will be pathways. I haven't maybe cobble, maybe uh, red rock, who knows. And here it'll be like maybe a little pond with lily pads or some kind of natural decor, maybe some seats. You know, I kind of want this to be kind of a mix between a town center and like a park. Like Central Park in New York, like a big place that people can convene and look. So these are going to be the outside of the pass. And in these, okay, I don't have my inside of these quadrants here the circular bit are going to be well there's going to be some features then there's going to be the path and then between here is going to be a path outwards and then here's going to be some like some trees some nature some park benches and whatnot and then on the all the way around the circular bit on the end is going to be a circle path and outside that'll be the city so from the path along here around the edge Outward will be a street and a street that way and street. Well, not too much of a street because that's going to be the docks and here's going to be the castle. But that's basic. And there go hit the ground. That's basically what I have in mind for this place. It's basically just trying to tie it together in a way that looks nice. And of course, we'll add some tops to there. But I would really like to. What I think is going to happen mostly is. This area is going to be sunk down one. There's going to be like step stairs on each side of this. So I might extend this out another block. And that'll lead... Because the streets in the city, I kind of want them to be sunk down just like one block or so. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Maybe I could demonstrate it. Do I have any... Well, I don't have... Where the hell's all my stairs? Oh, well, here's some stairs. They'll do for the demonstrating purposes like here may be the well no that's not because let's not do it there because the things are there okay let's say three wide in here would be the street and then you could walk up onto somebody's property you know walk up to the property of one of the houses I mean the streets aren't going to be three wide but I'm just giving an example and of course this would be the normal height where everything is now so you just walk, be up on the property. 
I think it'll look nice in the end. It's kind of hard to describe and it's kind of hard to visualize, but as we start to do it, I think it'll come into come into play. And of course, it's getting nighttime. Why wouldn't it? I should really bring a bread. A bread. I should really bring some bread out here. I mean, sometimes I get hungry. Some bread is always nice. And I got some other things. Some cobblestone walls. I'm kind of curious about these cobblestone walls. Let's have a look. And I might add like some pillars or arches or whatever. Just, just curious. Yeah, that's totally not where I wanted it to go. Here we go. Hmm. Of course, I'd put something under there. But, interesting. It's a potential. It's potential. Can I experiment with different blocks? There's a spider over there. But anyways, let's get her, let's work on the outside bit. Oh, here he comes, spider. Oh, you can't jump on me. Ain't that a shame? <laughs> can't do nothing. I'm sorry. And we were actually I looked in there before I put these things. We were actually full up on. Yeah, so I may I may extend this all out a space or so. So what's gonna happen? Yeah. Yeah, I might just extend this out a bit. Not a huge change in my lineup, but. So basically, on the outside, almost had it, almost had it. I <sighs> might have to go out another, clearly didn't plan this well enough. Clearly did not plan it, but it's easy to it's easy to fix. It's easy to the change. For Christ's sake. Anyways. Alright. Alright. I like to have my pass at least three wide. At least. So there's plenty of room to, to walk on it. So that would be our path, and then we can come up, walk up here into this area, walk up into this this area over here. So that'll be a nice segue in between. A little bit different. Okay. The shovel is too good for its own good at times. Whoa, there's a little bit of a cave here, isn't there? Oh, this is not a caving episode. It's all turned to dirt. <laughs> I should know. Easy fix for this lovely shovel. <laughs> gotta love it. You gotta love it. <laughs> I love this shovel. It is the best shovel ever. The best shovel. 
Ow. Ah, I hate that knockback. My BP is about to die. My breastplate, as it were. I think I'll, well, I guess I ran out of stone. Stones definitely I want my as my centerpiece of this. And I will take that brain. Just trying to, God, these guys are just. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna sleep. Cause all these zombies and shit coming after me as I'm trying to do this is really annoying. So I'll be back. All right, I, I buckled down and I brought my bed over. No more waiting for running back and forth to sleep. What? Wisp? Look, I can fly too. Huh? You can't get away from me now. You can hide behind me in my back, but you can't hide away. You can't run away. Annoying knockback. Ah, but you can't fly out of my reach. Now you're screwed. I'm on top of it. Anyways, I've... I've got some supplies that came over here. I worked on the outline of the road. Now, I have two possibilities that I've been thinking about using. I have regular cobblestone, which is a kind of street make staple. You know, cobble, cobble roads. Uh, my problem with it is it's kind of bland and gray. It blends in with these stone slab stairs that I want to kind of use as the outlining force of the streets because there's going to be a lot of stone brick in the city so it's kind of like a lining force of the streets walking down it, it's visually, it's similar I mean it works gives a little bit, a lot of texture to the ground but like I said, gray, it's just kind of it's just kind of boring it blends in too well with the street sides now this red rock stuff, which is a biome in Extreme Biomes XL, uh, it's vibrant. You could visually tell without at an instant that it's different from the stone brick stairs, um, while still remaining somewhat similar, similar uh, you know brick pattern, uh, different from everything else. So it's very visually distinct, very bright, um, and I think it makes a very nice ro a very nice road material. I do. I think I'm going to go with this red brick stuff. Um, of course, you know, give me your thoughts. I'm going to leave them both here for the remainder of the episode as we build other stuff. So you'll see them. You can kind of get a, let it just stay in your mind a little bit, which it, you like more. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish these roads all the way around. And of course, the bit that goes out. And I'll be back. All right. Took some while. I've already started outlaying the outside road. Now what I've done is I've basically went around the whole edges, cut it out, plopped in, well I haven't done nothing here, but put in all the stairs, and I think it looks quite nice actually. It will when I decide on a road. I really like this red, stone, uh, this red rock stuff. Uh, it's visually distinct from everything else. When we're going through the city, it won't be hard to visually tell from any distance that this is the road. It won't be the same color as any of their housing or anything so it'll be the road will be visually distinct and that's important. Plus I just think it's a generally nice texture. It really offsets all the other I mean it's kind of like a natural tone red like a reddish tan I guess you could say. Uh, red rock. Like the Grand Canyon I guess you could say. Um, and it really complements other natural tones that we're going to have throughout our city. Like the tans, the browns, the greens, the blues for whatever water wells or fountains we may have. So keeping in with the natural theme, I think it works most well. And it's, like I said, it's very distinct. It's different from the, it doesn't blend in like this cobble. So I think we'll end up using that, but I'd still like to hear your feedback. Let's move on, shall we? Let's not waste time. So now let's get on our outer roads. We got all the inner ones. This wall is going to have to go back. But let's get on our outer roads. And to do that, basically I'm going to be moving this bit. And I'm going to basically be chopping where the torches are. Because that's how I have it set up to go. 
I hear a skeleton. He's probably in a cave below. Well, hello there. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oops, it's too much. You know, drawing out with torches is actually a very smart way of doing it. Drawing it out with any kind of block, really. Uh, li really li gives you a, a bird's eye view of what you could expect from a shape or whatever. And since I'm not very good at drawing circles in Minecraft, it really helped me to kind of adjust. I mean, it's not a perfect circle by any means, uh, but it is certainly passable. So let's get away, get rid of some more of this stuff. And basically, what we're gonna do is go around the entire perimeter of it. Make sure we get it correctly. Being a square-based world, it's pretty hard to get everything as circular or as flowing as you'd like, but. Eh, happens. You know, you do what you can. Okay, this is getting in my way. <laughs> Get in my way as I'm trying to. It takes a lot of stone brick stairs. Actually, no. On the other side, I took this out, and then I'm pretty sure that's what I did. Let's have a get a bird eye view. This flight spell is really earning its keep. So, yep, yeah, that'll work nicely, and it'll be the same way all around. And of course, I haven't cut out all the way around here, but this will be a nice little area, extended area. Maybe in this area right here, you know, in the center, that'll be where our beacon is. And the beacon was not going to be completely exposed. I've decided I want it kind of sunk into the ground a bit. So only like the maybe the top couple layers or top layer or two are showing. Because a big golden <laughs> pyramid is going to stick out like a horrible sore thumb. Maybe I could blend it into some kind of fountain. But I've not decided yet. And it is centered on a block. So it'll work. Maybe like here we'll have the beacon. Top is that about center? Maybe there instead. Have the outside a little bit more. I don't know. It's it's hard to say what we want to do with it, but we'll worry about that when the time comes. First off, we want to get our road done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish the road all the way around. Now this side probably won't be finished because of the terrain, in, clear, terrain needed clearing. But for most of it, it will be done. So I'll meet you all when I'm done with that. And we're back. Sorry, I was just watching something funny. Anyways, um, I've completely outlined the thing. Let's have a look. As you can see, it's it's actually quite nice. I actually like the outer bit design. Like we have this path along the inside, then we have a path all the way around with some nature bits in between. I think that's really nice. Uh, of course, it'll look a lot nicer when the actual road part actually has a material. <laughs> Not just sporadic stuff, but it gives you an idea of what to expect. I really like this red stuff uh, for the road. I really do. I might add a little design in these open areas. But anyways, so we've got the road. we got our basic outline down. We've got pretty much the basic structure of the entire build. You know, as I was playing, by the way, I was looking at this like, you know, kind of makes me think of the Eiffel Tower with these bits going out and then up straight. <laughs> It's the Eiffel Tree. I know it's kind of lame, but whatever. Now, around the center bit, I wanted to make a fountain. And I'm not sure that I want to make it with stone brick. Do I have any stone? Oh, yeah. Well, thank God for that. Um, this is going to take quite a bit of stone. Th 
though I may outline the bottom of the pond or whatever you would like to call it with stone bricks I need more stone I've been turning a lot of stone into stone cobblestone either way so we need to go out, see, one, two, three, four, five, six, to seven. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two, one. Oh. Let's see if this, let's see if this um, comes full circle. One, two, one, two. No, it certainly ain't. Okay, so this was what, five out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Need a way to. It's maybe too wide of an arc. Let's try two. One, two, one. One, two, one, two. Okay, that'll work. So, two, two, one, one, two, one, two, sorry, I'm just, <laughs> just thinking about this. Uh, these builds are quite difficult to do. I mean, you never really, well, does that stone really fit in with the rest of the build? That's the problem. I think it'll be fine. We'll see. I could always change it to something else afterwards. You know, like when you're doing these things, you can never tell how anything is completely ever going to turn out. When I started this whole thing, I had in mind just a rough general idea, a picture in my mind, what, you know, what I want to see, what I'd like to have. And, you know, of course, there's been suggestions and you always hope things are going to go correctly to plan oh there's a there's a thing on there so that's where all that noise is coming from oh now he's coming out he's got my <laughs> anyways got that skeleton I'm going to turn this down just for time being um so it's it's always not easy to always know how everything's going to turn out. That's just the way of it. Nothing you could really do. You know, but it pays to have an idea in mind. Like when you're playing, you just want to be like, okay, this is this. This is how I want this to be. Oh, what am I doing? This is the bit that goes out. Wow, this goes down even further. Oh, I don't know. I thought I saw the ironwood. <laughs> so, you know, you always take a gamble. Hopefully the gamble pays off. In this case, I really think it is because it's coming out really nice in my personal opinion. So these random cave under here. So, I mean, and like, I, like I've said in the past, it always pays to have a basic outline. Start with the basics, add to it later, because if you try to get too complicated too quick, if something goes wrong, you got so much more to make up for. See, what I did here is I started simple, created a basic outline, and then, you know, basic stuff, not adding roofs to it yet, not adding in decor, basic stairwells, and then you could add to it. it it's much easier to do that way, I find. Makes it much easier to structure your work. I think a lot of people, the problem is when they try to build, it's not the fact that they're bad builders, it's just they start too big and they end up like pretty much choking on their their own ideas because they start too much. They just start too much too, too quick. Definitely going to need more stone. <clears throat> So, 
so you, you just know ne you never really know I'll have to have some more <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna finish the whole area around you put the roots in there and then get the water in there because it's gonna be a pond or like a whatever your pond fountain whatever you like to call it but I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera because it's just gonna be tedious and then I'll be back all right finish the well the pond the pond the fountain the watery bit I finished some of it but there was something else I wanted to add to it something else that I think would be a pretty cool addition should it work the way I intended I wanted to put a few lily pads in here just a couple at random spots hopefully in a minute you'll see it hopefully it'll work and I think it'll be a pretty awesome idea don't want to and basically I want to take these tallow candles oh please tell me they work oh come on man I wanted to put candles on the <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> damn I wanted to put candles on the lily pads oh curious as I am candle there. What happens if I break this? Ah, it breaks the candle. I will say maybe if the candle stuck there, I just put the candle there and remove it, but oh, that's a shame. Well, we still got the lily pads, and I have a, I had a backup in mind. Let's try this. Uh, it floats a little bit more above it than I was hoping. What about this? Is it actually in the water or is it over the water? That's just right over there, so I wonder. I can't place them underneath that either. Well, these things are very finicky. It doesn't allow me to do what I would like to do. So I'll just have to cast a mage light and I'll have to float over it. I still think that'll be pretty neat. In fact, let's try something else. Let's not put all the mage lights at same at like similar heights. Let's 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 see so that counts as an entire block instead of just let's make, make the mage lights float around the pond I think that would be a cool effect either way let's see oh yeah I like that it kind of has like a mystical magical serene feel to it so yeah I like that luckily you just punch the damn mage lights and they break Yeah, that's totally not where I wanted it. Okay. Yep, I'm I'm definitely liking this. I like that. Now, come on now. You can't say that ain't pretty cool. Maybe one right here. Oh, yeah. See, that's a similar concept to what I wanted to do with the night tour, floating around the, the tree up there, like around the trunk and maybe around some around the leaves. You can't tell me that I wouldn't give it a mystical feel. 
like having these mage lights near the water and some night tour up around the tree. That would be pretty cool. In my personal opinion. Like I said, you gotta have them at varying heights. Give some differentiation so it's not just boring and stagnant. One up above the water. I don't give off much light, but I do like the effect that it's kind of like a mystical pond. I, I do like that. Uh, probably a lot more than I should, but who cares? Okay, that didn't go anywhere remotely near where I wanted it to go, but I guess I'll take it. And two of them spawned in that one. Okay, one up there. And we need like one down here, one up here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I like that. It is definitely pretty neat. Wow, that's cool. Definitely adds to the magical feel we're going for. I do feel that there could stand to be some other greens in this area. Maybe some uh, vines hanging down over these walls a little bit. Maybe a reed or two. I think that would really add some nice flavor to it. But overall, I'd really like that. Oh, what's wrong, skeleton? Am I flying around? Am I, am I, by, am I being cheaty for you? Well, that's too bad. Forget that the sword could reflect arrows if you hold right shift. Or right click, rather. I don't know why I say shift. Burn! Baddies, burn! That's right. Even in the day, it still looks pretty cool. Not as cool as night, of course, but still pretty cool. And of course, we have some night tour around the tree itself. Um, let's get our let's get some of our beacon set up for that. We need to rush over to the house real quick. And by rush, I mean fly. Be cheaty. <laughs> it's not cheaty at all. It's actually a legitimate part of the mod. It's no less legit than Gravity Suit, okay? <laughs> and you actually have to find the spell. You can't just craft it by having materials. So you, there's no telling when you're going to find it. What did I come over here for? Oh, Trekkie, learn to remember what the hell you're doing. What the hell did I come over here for? Dun, 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 dun. Trekkie doesn't remember. Has no freaking clue. Oh, my mind's a blank. Let me look at my things. Maybe I'll remember. Uh. All right for the beacon. Right. Shows you how, how small of a memory I can have at times. Blocks of gold. Should be enough. And I just picked up the dirt I tossed on the ground. Get out of my inventory, please. Thank you. Yeah, I'll worry about that later. We're about to wrap up this episode. It takes a while to build these things, let me tell you. It's This is not a quick process. But if you want something done right, you got to take time to do it. Um, these long flat ends on the bit, that's actually perfect because they're roads that you know go off into the city. The main roads are going to be pretty wide, so they actually work out pretty well. And like I was saying, you know, planning out before you start just in case you mess up, I had to redo this outer ring here like three or four times, like all the way around. 
So, yeah, it pays not to go into detail too much until you have what you want. Oh, what am I going over here for? So let's get ourselves our beacon. I know that's not enough gold for the entire beacon, but we could get it started. Let's get this beacon. Make sure it's centered. This torch is where I've decided it wants, I want it to go. Maybe have a little bit of gold showing and put the beacon on top. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And you could actually cover up the goal. That bit doesn't have to be shown. But let's... Let's get under here. Yeah, let's just tear away the whole bit because it doesn't matter. Let's destroy the land. Beacons need tons and tons of space. Alright. We need to do this. May make the layer above it. Let me go out one. It's basically a pyramid. I mean, you also know how to make a, a beacon. It's not something I invented just for this episode. <laughs> I'm afraid. Sorry if you were expecting me to be that kind of a genius, but it was already in the game. It's not even a modded item, so everybody should know how to mess with a beacon. I don't know. Okay, so this is going to have to go out yet. Yep. And that side's already out. So, actually I probably should just went like this. Mm-hmm. And this is the seven layer. And there's one layer below this. I'm about to bury myself under a beacon of gold. Ooh, it's dark. There we go. <laughs> I don't quite think I have enough for a 9x9, nine nine, but we're going to try. We're going to try. So I need to go like this. Okay. Oh, it needs to go out even more. Because I have to have it a layer out from where this is. So let's see. Can't quite reach it. And of course, this has to go out some. So I have some stable footing in here. <laughs> Trying to make it bright so you can see. I mean, you all know how to make a beacon, but we're just going to do this for the final bit of this episode. Let's see how close to actually finishing this junk we are. Watch, watch me be like one off. That is always my luck. I'll be one block off it. I know it. Oh, I have a whole stack after this. Okay. Still, I don't think I'm going to do it. I am on the nine layer, and I think that is the final layer that you need. Come on, Trekkie. Oh, yeah, I think, we, I think we're going to do this. I think we got it. I think we got it. Da -da -da -da. Now we're buried under the ground. <laughs> Let's get out of Dodge. Okay. Light it up in here because I ain't filling it in. Screw that. 
Okay, that torch there. We're just gonna. I want to be free. Oh yeah, we got ourselves a beacon. Do we have all our layers? Yes, we do. And I, I guess I could use a gold, a gold block, right? To, will that work? No, it's got to be a thing. All right, well I could get some. Oh yeah, that'll work. Brilliant. Okay, what do we want for our first beacon? Speed and regeneration, right? Speed two and regeneration. That sounds good. Speed and haste. Oh, that's not it. Speed two. All right, I got speed and I should have regeneration, right? Should have regen. Well, let's uh. should have regen. Do not get regen. So I have one, two, three. Does nothing even give you the bottom? I ha I'm pretty sure I have all the layers needed. Let's have a look here. One, two. Let's have a. Let's just tear this away. Yeah, I have all the layers needed for the full. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Let me do the math. I'm pretty sure that I covered the whole thing. Yeah, I got the entire pyramid. It's four. So I should have two buffs going. I want both these. I want both of this. Yeah, regeneration. Okay, just now will speed renew. I, this is the first beacon I've ever built in one of my games, so... Oh yeah, see, now I got speed and regenerate. That's weird, I had to click it? Maybe because I kept messing with the two other buffs that didn't give it? Yeah, so now I have speed and regen. Okay, okay. I think I see what I was doing wrong. I was just being stupid. Let's fill it in and finish the episode. The hell? Wait, I could fill in stone? So this thing can fill in pretty much anything. That's pretty damn awesome, I'm gonna have to say. Look at this thing. I mean, come on. That's awesome. Easy fill. <laughs> oh, I could probably fill it in with gold blocks, too, if I really wanted to. But nah, we're gonna save the other gold blocks for other beacons. Because we have to have one in every corner. Ooh, fancy. I wonder. Just just me spitballing here. I'm I'm just testing something out. Just bear with me here. Bear with me. Ah, uh, 
uh, they'll know so much about that. <laughs> it's a little too structured. I don't know. Who knows? It never hurts to try new things. I do love the little ones in there, though. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. We'll continue working on it next time. We'll definitely finish it next time, because now we got the major parts out of the way. Now all that's left is really decorating it and, you know, carrying on with our lives. Uh, let me know what you think about the road choices, either Red Rock or Cobble, or if you have any other ideas, um, vanilla or within the mods that I have. Keep in mind, I want if, if it is a mod item or anything, I want it to be easily attainable. I don't want to spend weeks trying to get enough to get even one row. So that's kind of why I like these. They're relatively easy to obtain. This one I like because it's contrasting. Um, there's going to be a lot of roads. So there's going to be a similar theme for roads throughout, for at least in the regular districts. The farming place isn't going to have fancy roads, and neither will the dock district. But, yeah, keep that in mind. Let's sleep. Y'all go ahead and fight that skelly. Okay, you're not going to let me do that. That wasn't very nice. Hey, he hit me with a he hit me with an ice ball. Oh, daytime! Dun da da da. I love the I love the speed regeneration. You can't hurt me here. I'm sorry, but I'm invulnerable. Well, not quite, but I'm pretty tough. You know, I don't know about you know about me, but I'm pretty tough. Yeah. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any suggestions, lay them my way. Um. Plenty more to do here. Plenty more to do. And of course the castles over here and the whole city to do. Um, more farming district to do, but we'll do that in time. That's not really an immediate need. Come here, you. Come here. Yeah, I got your number. I got your number. <laughs> oh, and I've been messing with the diamonds. Uh, in order to get a full stack of diamonds for, for harvest, you're going to need eight stack of the essences, and each one of those plants drops one essence. So you're going to need around 512-ish plants um, to create a stack of diamonds. It's quite a hefty order, but you have to work for it, so that's a good thing. That's a good balanced thing. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Uh, leave your feedback, you know, as far as, you know, the... The roads. I thought there was something else I was going to ask for, but I don't know. I'm sure you all think of something <laughs> to give me feedback for. You know, the, the railings, you know, what could maybe be used for the railings. Any other decor maybe I could use around here. That's great. You know, I'm always up for ideas and suggestions. Um, user feedback is always fun to deal with. So, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed the episode, and I will see you all next time. See you later.